Hi folks, here's the results of test tubes A1 through A4 again, but uh, this time these were tested for the presence of maltose. So remember from lecture that maltose is one of the breakdown products of starch digestion. It's a, a disaccharide made of two glucose molecules, so as starch is being broken down, sometimes it can be broken down into these small disaccharides. Remember starch is just a long chain, a long polysaccharide made entirely of glucose molecules. So it's been, as it's being broken down, you'll end up with these disaccharides, maltose. So in tube A1, we have amylase and water. So you would not expect there to be uh, any, any maltose. Um, the reagent we used here to test for the presence of maltose is called Benedict's reagent, and Benedict's reagent uh, turns the solution green or orange if maltose is present. So these are positive for maltose. Uh, A1 is negative, as you would expect. A2 contains starch, water, and Benedict's reagent. Um, so you wouldn't expect that to turn green or orange because there's no maltose in that. So that's a negative result. Tube A3 contains maltose and water and Benedict's reagent. So this is the color of a positive Benedict's test, that orange color. And then in tube A4, we mix amylase with a, a starch solution and incubated that for 37 minutes. Or sorry, we incubated that for 60 minutes at 37 degrees Celsius and then uh, tested it for the presence of maltose. And this is the result we wanted to see. This indicates that maltose is present. So that indicates that uh, the starch, um, in which maltose is absent, um, was digested down to maltose. And that's what we're seeing there in tube A4. Thank you very much.